The hair? <laughs> oh, the suit <laughs> almost looks real, right? <laughs> Here, hold out your hand for me. A little higher. Love the nails. Okay, right there. Here we go. Careful. Okay, one guy likes it. That's all right. We'll do it again. We good? Okay, you want the hard stuff. I don't blame you. It's okay. Let's do it. All right. Whoa. One more. Come here. Oh! oh, man. What? Come here. You okay? <laughs> What? I need to borrow a bill. It could be like a 5, 10, 50. This is hysterical with 100. Uh, who has a bill that I can borrow? Don't everybody grab at once. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> this guy in the back, you guys, this guy's grabbing, maybe. Love the socks, though. Pineapples? Oh, we got a one. <laughs> you borrow one. Hey, we got a 20. All right, all right. Works with any bill, I swear. Uh, no, <laughs> no. the reason you borrow the money, right? Because if it was mine, you guys would all think this is fake, right? And I don't blame you. In fact, that's what I used to use, uh, some sort of fake, phony magic money. But you don't need that when you do this stuff. All you need is a little bit, let's see if I got any left. Yep, a little bit of the invisible magic dust. These <laughs> are late shows, okay. <laughs> Is this the same $20 bill you gave me? It is? it is? Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi. Oh, thank you. My name is Nick Lacapo. I am beyond thrilled to be here at the world famous Magic Castle. Thank you for joining us this evening, and thank you for deciding to spend a little bit of your time with me. Uh, I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. I moved to, oh, one guy, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, moved to Florida, because that's what you do when you grow up in New England, right? You get the hell out of there. And then <laughs> I spent some time at Universal, and uh, tonight I've traveled thousands of miles to be here all the way from exotic Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> O-H? <laughs> I do need a ride home later, so if you... <laughs> I absolutely love magic. I got a lot of stuff I want to show you. We don't have a ton of time, so I want to get started with one of my favorites. It's pretty impressive, right? <laughs> you guys want to see it in reverse? No problem. <laughs> All right, a little trick using uh, two cards. Card, uh, two cards. Card for me, a card for you, sir. My card first. My card first. <laughs> my card will be the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts will be mine. What is your name? Christian. Christian, where are you from? LA. Oh, I've heard of it. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Queen of Hearts is my card, Christian. Now for yours. I'm just going to riffle through the cards. As I go through, you say stop, we'll get you a card. Stop. Now, Christian, I don't want you to think I made you stop here. I can go a little further if you want. Are you sure? Sure. Are you sure? 
<laughs> a little further? Like there? Right there? Okay. Everybody remember Christian's card. Every, yeah, we'll let everybody take a look at it. In fact, make sure there's no special markings on the back, Christian, to tell me what your card is, okay? <laughs> this stuff isn't easy, okay? Your card goes into the center of the pack. It's about middle right there. And it's going to travel all the way up to the top of the deck. It happens when I flip the magic hair. <laughs> Christian, your card back on top. What? Yeah. It's not all. Your card will now change places with mine on the floor. Happens when I whistle. <laughs> it changes. <laughs> what? Now that was my card, right, which I put down here at the beginning. Does that look familiar? Yes! <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a good trick, but the guy at the front last show was like, yeah, but how did it stick to the wand? <laughs> what? <laughs> Some of you are still fooled. OK. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just show you how it works. The hard part, of course, is getting Christian's card, not this one, but to slide out of the deck and secretly land underneath my shoe because that happens really fast and it's hard to see. Uh, so I'll try to slow it down so all you can see exactly what happens. The first thing you got to do is take Christian's card and place it in the center of the pack. Now this will work, of course, with any card. It doesn't matter. We'll use the nine of hearts. All you got to do is give the nine a little rub on your leg. Just by giving it a rub, Christian, <laughs> it changes. <laughs> all right? Just don't rub, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Just, no, no, it's okay, just don't rub too hard, right? Because if you do, you can actually get the card to disappear. It doesn't go far, though. It just ends up back underneath my foot. Oh. Christian, do you believe this is your card? I do. You do? Sure. You're not from LA. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, Christian's card, pretty good, pretty good, yes. <laughs> one more time? Why not? Or we don't have to. It's okay. We'll do it one more time. Anything under my shoe, Christian? You look good. Nice shoes, though, right? <laughs> I'm going to put it there again, <laughs> okay? In fact, we'll make it a little easier on you. We'll leave your card face up in the deck. So not this way. It'll be facing the ceiling, right? So that if it comes to the top, you'll know. I can't sneak it up there because it's face up, right? So you can watch the deck. You can watch the shoe or the wand. But whatever you do, don't blink, because it happens on the count of one, two, and three. Did you see it go? You didn't see it go? No, not, not the card, the deck. Did you see the deck? Oh, shit. Did you see the deck? <laughs> you see, the deck, the deck is gone. The, de the deck is gone. But Christian, it didn't go far, though. It just ended up back underneath my shoe. That would have been good. <laughs> would have been really good. The thing is, Christian's right here. He's watching so close. There's no way I could have gotten his, the deck underneath my shoe. I had to go one step further. I couldn't get the deck under my shoe. I had to get the deck in my shoe. Now, oh, wait, wait, wait. We did put Christian's card face up in this deck, remember? And it, it is still in there. There is one card reversed in the pack. Christian's two of clubs. Give him a big hand. All right, my friend. This is for you, for your whole family. To take it home. Enjoy. This is with the fairy dust. Yeah, right. Yeah, it does come with some invisible dust. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's how she shows. If any magician's asked to borrow a deck of cards, give them that one, right? I need three people that want to have a little bit of fun up here with me. Oh, my God, it's like everybody's hand in the back up there. That's great. Let's see here. Well, we're going to get some variety. We'll get the bow tie. You look like fun. Yeah, yeah. Come on down. Come on down. Uh, why not, sir? Right here. Yep. And let's we got a, we got a lady anywhere? A girl? I don't know. You want to help? You'd be great. <laughs> Sorry. You're right up here in front. Give these people a hand. We're going to put you here on the X, OK? okay. So, yeah, you came dressed to party right here, sure. There's a little X right there for you, OK? Perfect. You guys look good. I'm going to place this kind of right there. All right, I have three postcards and three markers. Now, in a moment, we're all going to uh, draw a picture, OK? So you get a marker. 
You get a marker. And what is your name? Jessica. Jessica. Here's a marker for you. Now, a moment, you're going to choose something to draw. Okay? okay. Now, now, whatever you choose to draw, you're going to draw it here on the white side. Don't draw it on the black side. I know that seems obvious, but you wouldn't believe what I've been dealing with up here. Okay? So go ahead. That's for you. Now, whatever you draw, make sure that nobody sees it. Okay? Not me, not your friends up here, not the audience, okay? You can begin drawing anytime, so that's for you, and this is for you as well. You can get creative as you like, or as simple as you like. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything crazy or fancy. Believe me, I've seen it all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is there anybody here that's had like a crazy, crazy night out? You're a little too heavily refreshed. You wake up in the morning and you've got a brand new tattoo. <laughs> Am I the only one with my hand up? <laughs> And this guy? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. You know, they say getting a tattoo is like the oldest, oldest way to disappoint your parents, right? The world's second oldest, of course, is become a magician. <laughs> no, my parents love me. It's OK. Uh, I'm going to come back down the line and collect the markers. So if you could cap those up. So I'm going to come back down here and grab the markers. Now, let's not think of these as drawings, OK? Let's have a little bit of fun. And instead, we'll think of these as three random tattoos that you might find on your body after a crazy night out, OK? <laughs> and was, was it Jessica? Jessica? Would everybody pass your drawings down to Jessica or your new tattoos? Uh, and Jessica, keep them face down so nobody that can see them. And then shuffle them, shuffle them, shuffle them so you don't even know which one is which, right? Perfect. And whenever you're done, you place it on the table there. And tonight, one of us is going to be lucky enough to go home with one of these tattoos permanently inked <laughs> on our body. Thank you all for volunteering. <laughs> uh, so ta uh, tattoos can tell. We have three tattoos and three tattoo artists. We don't know who drew what. We don't know whose is whose, right? But we're going to look at these and see if together we can figure out who drew which one. So let's take a look at this first one. Um, OK. All right, we got a little. I, I think I think you guys know what this is, right? Yeah. Okay. It looks like a tree. Oh, let's put this here. Sorry about that. Um, Jessica, the tattoo that you drew, mm -hmm. if you had to get it, where would you get it? Uh, let's see. Probably my ankle. Ankle. I can kind of buy that. I can kind of buy that. Do you got any? Do you have any tattoos? Okay. All right. Uh, what is your name? David. 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 What is your name? <laughs> David? David and David. David, David, Jessica. It's going to make it easier on me. Uh, David, the tattoo that you drew, where would you get yours? Right there. Hold, go ahead, do that again. All right, we're going to go by audience applause here. Do you think it's David? Give it, give, give it up. No. No. Do you think it's David? Give it up. Oh. Jessica? I think the audience has spoken. We're going to go with the audience. So David, be honest. Yes. If you did, they're all going to give you a big hand. But did you draw this? I did, I did. You did? <laughs> yes, give him a big hand. You can head back to your seat. Thank you so much. All right. So tattoos also go through a lot of trends, right? People get the same stuff, like barbed wire, uh, live, laugh, love. Is that what you got? <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> Up here, I get a lot of animals. People tend to draw a lot of animals. Now, I don't believe you drew an animal. No? No. Okay. But you did. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Um, I get the feeling that the next card might be yours. Um, don't look at it just yet, but this is interesting. Jessica. I have a really bad tattoo on the other side of this arm. Okay. You've never seen my tattoo, have you? I have not. Okay. Um, you drew an animal. I did. What kind of animal did you draw? I drew a horse. You drew a horse? Yes. You did? Yes. You could have drawn a different animal. I could have, yes. Yes. Um, God, I hope this is the right one. That's a good looking horse. That is a good, that is a good looking horse. Check that. That is a good looking horse. But like I said, tattoos go through a lot of different trends, right? Pe people tend to get the same things. And that's what I got. Would you believe that? 
I also have a horse tattoo. Is that pretty cool? Is that pretty good? Pretty good. Give Jessica a big hand. Thank you so much. You can have a seat. Oh. David, come on down. Come on down. Now, David, you did not draw an animal. No. Could have drawn anything you wanted to. But uh, we had the same type of tattoo. We both had a horse. <laughs> Would you be impressed if I had your tattoo exactly on the other side of this forearm? You'd be <laughs> prepared to be blown away. You ready? Okay, check it out. Is that your tattoo? That is, yeah. <laughs> it is? It is it's your tattoo. Um, All right, it says your tattoo on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I told you my tattoos are bad, right? Um, it'd be impossible for me to know, you know, have your exact tattoo on my arm because uh, you know, it's been sitting over there the entire time. But let me ask you a question. Uh, the tattoo that you drew, is it something that you would actually consider getting? No? Because this show could go two ways right now. <laughs> I learned how to do this last week on YouTube. It's been going great. <laughs> um, hold still. It's not going to hurt me much. OK. Uh, and you guys, just hang tight. This takes like three and a half hours. All right, I think, um, sure, yeah. David, why don't you show everybody what you drew? <laughs> well, what we got? The sun, that's a good tattoo, that's a good tattoo. What did we do? Not too bad. Not too bad? <laughs> Give it up for the sun tattoo right there. Give David a big hand. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Oh. Well, you guys are a lot of fun. Uh, do you got time for one more? Okay. Well, uh, it's getting a little late here at the castle, so uh, thank you for joining us again. Uh, I hope you've had a special evening. But let's do one more for the road, shall we? Uh, this is the world famous bottle and glass trick. Let's do, um, hmm, that's interesting. Let's do it like this. <laughs> the world famous bottle and glass trick. It's a simple trick. You're gonna love this. Simple trick uses simple props, a glass and a bottle. <laughs> You're already fooled. The idea of the trick is very simple. You gotta make the glass go from this side of the table to this side of the table. And to make the bottle travel from this side of the table to, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I brought another bottle too, uh, in case that one breaks, right? I guess. Uh, we'll make the glass go from here to here. The bottle goes from here to here. You can't touch them though. That's why you have the two tubes, right? Now, before you get started, man, you gotta be sure you're set up correctly, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you gotta be certain that the glass is exactly the same distance from the bottle as the bottle is from the glass. I'm just making sure you guys are still paying attention, okay? Here we go, here's the glass, here's the bottle. Watch as they change places. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, there's the glass. And that, yep, that's the bottle, thank you guys. <laughs> We're just going to do it like this. I know. <laughs> oh, the guy's like, well, any, yeah, anybody can do that, right? That's the easy part. The hard part, of course, make them go back. <sighs> Thank you, Hollywood. <laughs> you guys look pissed. <laughs> this trick's way better if you've had what's inside the bottle, right? If you're sober, you might not believe me when I say it's very easy to make them change places. Very difficult to make them go back. Just remember, two number one, always go for the bottle. Two number two, oops, too many bottles. Two two goes over the glass, which becomes the bottle, bottle becomes the glass. Two number one goes over the bottle. Two no, oops, too many bottles. Two two goes over the glass, which becomes the bottle, bottle becomes the glass, and that is the famous glass and bottle trick. Woo! 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 Guy in the back loves it. He's like, <laughs> what's your name? 
Wilson, we'll do it one more time for Wilson. We'll do it for all you guys. You guys have been so much fun. Uh, but this time, we will only use the one tube. Watch as the glass becomes the bottle. The bottle becomes a glass, which only works, of course, if you bring the extra bottle. Watch as the glass becomes the bottle. The bottle becomes the glass. That only works if you bring that extra bottle. You know, sometimes when I do this, I won't use any glasses. Sometimes use an extra bottle. Sometimes use two extra bottles. Remember, use a bottle and a glass and a glass and a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Nick. Thank you, Magic Castle. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All of you, please exit the theater on your right. Secure your belongings. Have a fantastic evening. We'll see you next time.